speaking of of food, I kind of want to share my food. Look at this dog. Hey. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, so I'm like editing this vlog you're about to watch right now and I'm talking about the prices and I held this whole beginning part talking about smoothies, showing you the smoothies are only a dollar, what you could get in it, and that part is gone. I don't know what happened. Uh, but today it picks up with me on the street explaining some of the street food, all that kind of stuff, and, uh, well, you'll see it. But, ah, oh, that beginning part was so good. But, here we go. And another thing is you have a lot of street food as well here in Thailand. So what's really cool about the street food here, which is right here, you can see the menu. Fried rice fried rice and egg that's 15 baht that's about 50 cents for that thai street food right there and if you guys can notice it's actually a scooter connected to there so what they'll do is they'll ride around you might be able to see it in the b-roll as i'm walking i kind of have to look where i'm walking people will hit you here um <laughs> dead serious um you'll see people are riding around well i don't see any right now but they'll ride around and all that stuff is connected to them so they just park here they'll deal with here and then they'll move on to the next place and another thing about the food that I really like at these places here. They're the outdoor places, which I will go to later today for sure. And out here, they're usually on the corners of places, but a lot of times for me, what I've seen and being with my friends here, we always go to this. This is like the Thai food where you can get good prices, quality food. And they're just kind of, there's so many hidden places that they're never, you, if, you want, if one is full, you can always find more, but they're usually here on the side like this. Ah, here's one. Here's one of the trucks coming right now that has the food kind of attached to it. Ah, I could have crossed the street right there too. But can you see? Person driving here. So they literally, they had sandwiches that were already pre-made right there on there. Whoa! <laughs> they had sandwiches that were, they had sandwiches that were pre-made on there already and they just will stop set up shop on the side of the road kind of anywhere and that's uh yeah <laughs> that's how it is and now i've learned from yesterday as i was making my way this way there's a place that is my new favorite place and when it comes to food like there is food everywhere here um i kind of made the mistake when i got here of just eating a lot because it's so good but i realized the key that when you're here is uh I always think about getting massages during the day because you'll see to get massages for an hour for like maybe four dollars five dollars Here's another thing showing you the food. So keeping in mind. That's about two dollars for that Smoked noodle kale soaked in gravy And all this stuff is like good like seriously good um, But if, if you guys know I think I made it in the video when I was talking about why you guys should come to Thailand kind of up here We'll go by a little of the shops here Because I said before if you come here, go to 7-Eleven, you can get everything at 7-Eleven. I realized that's a rookie thing to do. You can't go to 7-Eleven. You gotta buy it. Don't go to 7-Eleven. Kind of walk around. Instead of buying the coconut water from 7-Eleven, walk on the street till you find a place that has actual coconuts that's in the ice because you want the cold coconut and get it from there. Much better option, much more fresh, and you'll thank me later. It's like my favorite go to place. Hey, Samadhi Kab. <laughs> you guys can see here all the different fruits they have, and they're all like 40 baht, right around 1 euro 10, 1 euro 20. First coconut. And one uh, mango. Get the fruit like fresh from there. So when I first came here, I didn't know I could do that. So I go to 7 Eleven all the time, but when you come here, and they literally are, it's okay, I make, it's okay, I make video. <laughs> uh, and you get your fresh coconut, like literally right from the street, which is like, for me, it's insane. And it's all on ice, which is really cold, which is really cold when it's really hot outside during the middle of the day. So 7-Eleven is great, but at the same time, you can get it from outside and actually 
now that I'm saying that the 7-Eleven literally is right behind them. <laughs> this is 7 oh. You don't even need to go in 7-Eleven. You come right here, get everything you need. And one thing I like to do when I've been to the coconut, not all of it, not inside, it's not so great for you if you don't need it. Throw the coconut away and you have this top part that's in there, and I kind of just get a little bit of that while you wait for your mango. Oh, and that's another one of those like side places that I'm telling you guys about, that I'm telling you guys about that are really good. They're all, they're like this. So you have fans, air circulates through there and you're outside and it's like local, 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 local food where they cook everything way over there in the back. But got my mangoes, got two mangoes and a coconut. It came to like 120 baht. I gave the lady 100 baht and I didn't know it was 120. I thought it was gonna be about 100. And then I was, she walked away and I was like, Oh, it was only, I thought I was getting changed back. She's like, no, it was 120, but it's okay. And like, of course I paid for it. I gave them extra money, but it was just like the friendliness of people here that you get for the service. It's just, it's, it's hard to beat that anywhere. And there's just so many cool cafes and places like that everywhere. And look at this, this is like a coffee house right here. And to give you an idea of some of the prices and everything, like a coffee here, like Americano would be about 150 but you're in a beautiful place like this. So even to me here looking at all this stuff, it's just, it's crazy to me. Like this is crazy. So it comes to food, anything like that. You have all these little hidden places and that's just, we're just talking about coffee here. We're not even talking about like really nice, visit the top five or top 10 places in Chiang Mai. These are just, I'm literally just walking, like literally walking around, checking out some of the places here on my way to a coffee shop. So. Yeah, when it comes to the food, basically, the food is good. Wow, the food is good. The people are amazing. And the thing is, the food, the value. And literally, I'm still on my way to a cafe, but see these coconuts and stuff over here. I always have to. I think I average about four coconuts a day. Somebody cup. Coconut. Coconut, coconut. Yeah, coconut. Very good coconut. And they're like professionals cutting it. I think that might be one of my rules in Thailand. I haven't had a coconut in a couple hours. Hey! Cup and cup. Bye bye. <laughs> And you can see how friendly the people are. Um, one of my rules though in Thailand is when I haven't had a coconut in a few hours, I always stop and buy one at the next place I see. Coconut should cost you around, around 40 baht. 50 is okay, 60 is like, you know, just in consideration of what they normally cost here. Hello, <laughs> hello. Oh, and guys, I still say hello to everybody. <laughs> Okay, so the place where I'm working, this is actually a new place. Didn't even know about this place before. Wally Coffee, for example, a really nice place as you guys can see. And one, one good thing to look for is like an air purifier if you can, going into a certain cafes. For example, this coffee costs around 60 baht, 65 baht, which is about close to two euros, which is on the side of expensive if you are talking like Thai prices, like a normal coffee would be around 50 baht, which is about $1.50. Not that I'm complaining or have a problem, but just to give you an idea of the prices of it. And actually this will be my first coffee here in Chiang Mai. I've been having just coconuts the whole time. But um, yeah, that gives you an idea of the prices of here and why people don't go to Starbucks is because I want to say a coffee in there was around 180 baht, which is close to six dollars for coffee in Starbucks um, nothing against them but that's just like I'm speaking from like the terms of like what's the norm in uh, your entire uh, by the way the coffee definitely approved here really good coffee I mean it's just because it's the first one I've had in like four first one I've had in like four days but the coffee is uh, definitely approved Pop. <laughs> okay, so this is a little corner place that I'm talking about. Not as packed as a lot of them. 
um, and to give you guys a look at what kind of food that they have here. <laughs> this is basically the kind of food you have. So you have like fried rice, green curry, 33. Fried rice, green curry is about 60 bucks. That's about two euros for this meal. Um, and yeah, you see the prices of a lot of the other stuff. Rarely, rarely in these corner shops where you see these for more than like three euros or something like that. Um, of course you can, the most expensive thing here out of all of this stuff is about a hundred baht, spicy roasted duck. It's about three euros, 10 cents, something like that. Um, and yeah, I hope this really helped you guys out with the, well, actually, let me get that proper, a proper ending. Oh man. Okay, so just leaving that place right now from food. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk. Leaving the restaurant, food was so good. That is my favorite place. I don't know, I'm sorry, you guys probably won't recognize this scene, but this is where it's at. And that food is so, so good, oh my gosh. But um, as you guys can see, that's 110 baht, so that's like maybe 40, that's like $4 for one plate of, it was like a green curry chicken. It was a green curry chicken and it was a, two eggs and a plate of rice. Um, yeah, and all that was like $4. So hope this guy, this gives you all a better sense of the prices of things here in Thailand. Uh, it was a question that came up to me a lot and apparently uh, if you go to the more local places, the prices are even more down than it is here. So I hope that helped you guys out. I just really love uh, giving you guys uh, the most value I can. So please keep asking your questions. Maybe I'll do a Thailand Q&A. Uh, maybe I'll do a Thailand Q&A soon. Um, yeah, probably. I have some cool projects coming up on Thailand and many of the other countries I've been to, which I'll announce probably about a week or two but um any other questions i can have please leave in the comments below thank you guys so much people are asking me about the sponsorship how people are sponsoring the vlog we see sponsored at the end that's it's linked in the description below but the people who support the channel i usually say that they're the sponsors that's what keeps the vlog that's what keeps everything going as smoothly as it does so i hope that answers that question and from here in thailand in Chiang Mai, um where i might go and get a nice foot massage actually i'm a little bit tired um i want to bid you guys a great morning evening afternoon and when it comes to prices don't worry about it i always tell people i think you can live on eating about seven dollars of food a day like for a normal person i'm big and i eat twice as much as i think everyone else and um yeah so i think everyone if you came here with seven dollars a day for food i think you'd be perfectly fine um but i hope that answers you guys question thank you guys again so much for the support and i'll speak to everyone later and everyone always remember to work hard be brave and don't forget to smile. Ciao.